Good, happy Wednesday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Charges upgraded against 18-year-old driver in mass officer's death. The driver who police say caused the crash that led to the death of Massachusetts police officer on Interstate 95 last weekend faces new charges. Michael Reese, 18, now faces charges including negligent homicide, reckless conduct, and second-degree assault. In an affidavit released Tuesday, investigators alleged Racy was riding with a group of up to the New England dragway in Epping. Witnesses said Racy was driving aggressively and erratically on Interstate 95 as the group approached Exit 2. Three of them missed the exit. Authorities described Racy as the lead vehicle who pulled over to the breakdown lane to tell the others to follow him. Court documents said Racy then turned sharply into the center median crossover like a drifting like fashion. A witness riding directly behind Racy estimated he was going around 50 miles per hour when he took the prohibited cross over. Two vehicles allegedly followed Racy northbound when Racy's Mercedes pulled into the highway crossover, which was marked as closed. The Mercedes collided with the motorcycle that Somerville Police Officer Louis Rigmio was riding. Phyllis Combs of South Portland, Maine, and her husband were involved in the multi-vehicle crash. Combs' husband, Jay, was driving southbound on I-95 when Rigmio's motorcycle was struck. Jay Combs veered to avoid the motorcycle and drove over a drainage curve, causing damage to their vehicle. Neither Jay or Phyllis was hurt. Rig Mio, who was an off-duty at the time, was critically injured in the crash and died a day later of his injuries. Combs said that while she and her husband weren't hurt, they are struggling mentally and emotionally. Combs said she is mourning Rigmio's death. Combs was disturbed that Racy didn't try to stop after the crash, and was surprised no one else was killed. According to court paperwork, Racy declined to take a field sobriety test and declined to speak with the New Hampshire State Police. Racy will be arraigned on Friday morning. Rig Mayo, 55, left behind two daughters. He was laid to rest last week. And that does it for my news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you back here later on today with another news report. Goodbye, everyone.